put Zybar on, take the heat off. What are you talking about? This is the next level in aerospace coating technology. Today, you're gonna to learn something. Hey everybody, welcome back. Here's another video for you, something exciting. We are delving into the aerospace type coatings and these specific coatings obviously go hand in hand together with turbochargers and anything that is high heat or high thermal load related. So the product is a polymer coating, it is not a ceramic, it does not powder off, it does not reach its thermal ceiling at about six to 700 degrees Celsius and start to come off and detach itself from the material that it's been coated onto. It also doesn't crack if the actual material like stainless steel comes alive when it starts to change temperature and flake off the actual material that it has been coated onto. These are known problems with ceramic type coatings which are quite expensive and are obviously what are most common in the market today. This aerospace coating is a polymer. It warrants a much higher thermal ceiling. It operates successfully and consistently at above 850 to 1,100 degrees Celsius. That's 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. There's no discoloration. There's no cracking. There's no powdering. There's no delamination from the material that has been coated. And it is used specifically to create a thermal barrier between the materials, whether they are steels, ferrous, non-ferrous materials, for use with turbine housings, exhausts, manifolds, intake manifolds, electronic components, and any corrosion environment or corrosive environment where you have a material you'd like to protect, an anti-rust coating, an anti-corrosion coating, whether it's used in high temperature or low temperature environments. This specific coating obviously goes hand in hand with turbochargers that we are currently manufacturing, uh, that we are obviously selling, that we are obviously designing, and the related manifolds and bolt-on accessories that go together with the turbochargers that we basically have to offer. So the coating itself has been around for a while. It hasn't been marketed exceptionally aggressively because of COVID. Uh, it was first seen at CMA in 2019, and we are basically the representatives exclusively for South Africa. We're bringing this product to the country. We will be releasing some videos in the short term where we apply this coating to various applications and we try and destroy the coating. We try and push it to its limits to see how it reacts. There's gonna be videos where we will coat turbine housings and literally go and melt that turbine housing, uh, the material to see what happens just before the actual turbine housing melts. Um, we will try and push this coating to its limits and create a failure if possible. We will obviously do some tests and measure the internal structure or the internal thermal ceiling or the thermal loads inside of the structure as well as externally. We will do single coats, double coats and triple coats. We will do coatings with different thicknesses and we will coat the inside and outside of various components and do some tests and share that with you guys on some of the video footage which we'll release in the coming months. The specific coating has been tested by the manufacturer. We have some inside information. We've obviously got some testimonials from top fuel drag uh, racing teams. We've got guys uh, from tractor pulling racing teams and there are various other testimonials out there where the, the coating has actually been tested. The coating is designed to increase horsepower uh, by the reduction in temperature internal to piping, which will result in a scavenging effect. We'll go into some of those applications, test them, and we will share this information with you guys on video. Zybar is the next level in aerospace coatings. We're excited about it. This is just a brief introduction. We're not going to go into too much detail about the coating itself or how it's applied, but at the same time, wait for the tests. This is just an intro. This is a brain teaser. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope this excites you as much as it's excited us. And uh, we want to just call you guys to look out for future videos coming soon where we start applying the coating to various components. I believe we'll start off with coating some of our own in-house uh, design and manufactured turbine housings as well as some downpipes. We're going to be sponsoring some of the local races. 
with manifold coatings both in and out as well as turbine housings down pipes and whatever the case might be so look out for that coming soon hope you guys like this hope you're excited about it comment down below and let us know your thoughts like subscribe catch you guys next time